aliens is kind of a polarizing idea. Mm -hmm. I don't uh, call them that. So I call them extraterrestrials or evens, extraterrestrial biological entities. You know, when you say right. alien, most of the time people think you're talking about someone from Guatemala. I mean, it's it's a very confusing word for people. So we use okay. I, I usually the word ET. It's easier to say ET. And then you know what you're well, talking about. You know, ETs are a very polarizing mm -hmm. topic. You know, some people really believe in them. Uh, some people really don't. Uh, you know, well, how no, would wait, you? Wait, 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 wait. You know, do you believe in water, H2O? You don't have to believe in it if you've seen the evidence for it. So I think what we need to do is elevate the discussion where it's based on facts, evidence, all that, which we put together. It's all out there for people to see. Now, if people don't read it or look at it, it's not our fault. So I think that what one of the problems with this whole thing is that it gets relegated to a matter of belief. You know, you can believe in God, you can believe in Jesus, you can believe in the tooth fairy. But when it comes to something like this, it needs to be based on what are the facts, what are the evidence, what's the scientific proof? You know, here's a radar tape that we have of, of one of these. Op In other words, it needs to be based on uh, facts, not belief. Right. Uh, my question was going to be, you know, how would you convince somebody that this is real and that this is a real problem? Well, that's why we have these documentaries and the books and the information we put out. You, I mean, you have to put the information in front of people. I always tell people how many, uh, we have like 3,500 pilots that have encountered these objects, many of them with radar tape, and we have it. Well, if no one looks at it, I can't convince you if you're not looking at the evidence and don't read. Um, same thing with uh, the whole question of these crash retrievals. And we have the people who've been there, who've testified, who've handled the bodies. We have forensic artist renderings of what those look like. We have some photos of the ETs themselves. Those are in close encounters of the fifth kind. So I always tell people, uh, it's all there. We, we package this all together in a way that anyone who sincerely wants to know. But um, ultimately, you, you know, it's like anything else. If it's not taught in the schools and doesn't appear on the nightly news, people have to assume it's not real. But it is real. Uh, and I think the only way people have to at some point take responsibility for educating themselves with materials that we've spent 30 years assembling and putting on a silver platter that's right there. So ultimately, that's what has to happen. It's all there. I mean, it'd be impossible for anyone to go through the the book unacknowledged or the film or look at the documents and the testimony of these 70 uh, top secret guys I have up on my YouTube channel. And they're up there, name, rank, serial number, everything, uh, and not know that this is true. But people have to actually look at it, right? And, and so that's the problem. With social media, people look at a half a second or two or three second tweet or, or Instagram picture and it floats. Um, and I know I'm a bit of a crudmudgeon about this, but at some point, if you're, if people want to know, they're going to actually have to spend a little bit of time studying something, you know, like anything else. I mean, if you're a musician, I mean, you had to study how to play a guitar or piano or whatever, keyboard or sing. I mean, so, I mean, it, there's a discipline that needs to be, you know, the responsibility of every citizen to become informed, but certainly the material and the evidence is out there for anyone who sincerely wants to know. You mentioned having photos of aliens. Mm -hmm. How many different photos do you have and how did you get, get these photos? Well, uh, there are a couple that I have from intelligence sources, uh, one is a dissection of one from a very long time ago, apparently the 1920s. Um, some of the others are from our uh, CE5 contact expeditions, where we've had contact and these beings have appeared right there near us. And when you see the close encounters of the fifth kind movie, you're going, to go, whoa. Uh, I mean, those are not Photoshop. Those are, they're actually right there and they're obviously not human. So, um, you know, we have that kind of content. Now, we also have 
uh, forensic artist drawings based on the top secret testimony of dozens of people who've handled the craft and the bodies. So if you go into our what this 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 two day event we did in June right before the National Press Club event, uh, you'll see uh, several. I think about five or six hours of presentation of all of those what the craft looked like, what the bodies looked like, very accurate. Uh, that's that we spent a lot of time and a lot of money to to acquire that and to get them in accurate form for the public to see. So it's all there for folks who want to dig into it. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.